Today on Mike Attempts, repairing chainsaws. I got these four chainsaws for free. Let's see if any of them are worth fixing. Feels like the Husqvarna 440 is seized. That's not good. I sprayed some WD-40 down the spark plug hole in hopes of freeing the piston. Well, the piston seems to be moving now. I know it's hard to see, but they all have spark. While cleaning, I noticed both Husqvarna 445s need new primer bulbs. There are two clips on the back of the primer bulb that hold it in place. Pay close attention to which fuel line connects to which post on the back of the primer bulb. The line from the tank goes to the long post while the line to the carb comes from the short post. On the second 445, one fuel line had been replaced and the end was stretched out.
There was also a hole in the line. I cleaned the old plugs and checked the gaps. Let's see what they'll do. The first 445 starts, but then shuts off. My guess is a dirty carb. The second 445 starts, but the RPMs are uneven at first. After running for a bit, it sounds better but won't idle. I'm hoping the carb just needs some adjustment. The 440 started, let out some smoke, and then shut off. Now this one has a broken primer bulb too. Luckily I bought a 4-pack. After replacing the primer bulb, the 440 won't start. starts and seems to run okay, but the guy who gave me this one said it lacked power and wouldn't start again after it had been ran for a while. I borrowed a compression tester from my neighbor. Let's see what they got. The first 445 looks good at 120 PSI. The second 445 is doing fine around 115 PSI. The 440 definitely has some internal issues at only 35 PSI. After removing the muffler, I don't see any scoring but the piston is dark. I neglected to show cleaning the spark arresters earlier. Removing the muffler isn't required. 
This one looks good. Just make sure to remove any carbon buildup. Finally, the pulling comes in at 100 PSI, and the piston is scored. Since the 440 and the pulling would probably require new pistons and cylinders, I haven't decided if they're worth fixing. You might see them in a future video, but for now, I'm just going to focus on the two 445s. I got some new air filters and spark plugs. and new fuel filters too. See the description below for the parts and tools I used. I'm going to clean the carb on the first 445, the one that wouldn't stay running. The inside is pretty dirty. I don't have a rebuild kit, so I'm trying to be extra gentle with the gaskets and diaphragms.
The screen looks completely clogged. Be careful when removing the needle so the spring doesn't fly out. For the diaphragms and gaskets, I like to use something less harsh.
To adjust Husqvarna carburetors, you need a special tool with 21 teeth. Husqvarna recommends to start with both the high and low speed jets one and a half turns out. Let's see if a clean carb helps. Seems much better. But while fine tuning the carb, it shut off and started smoking. I don't think the oiler is working. The plastic teeth of the oiler have been worn down in one spot. And it won't budge. I cannibalized the 440 and luckily they use the same oiler. Time to test it out.
is working like new. The second 445 came without a clutch cover, so I ordered a new one. With the high and low jets adjusted to one and a half turns out, it starts and runs well. Feel free to rate this video, add your comments and questions below, and subscribe for more.